Hi everyone! So today I'm going to do my makeup collection video for you guys, which I know has been unbelievably requested. So I'm finally getting around to doing it. I really like the way that my makeup is set up. It's really not to show you guys the amount of makeup that I have, which maybe is some reason why some of you are watching this video, but it's really to show you guys how I organize my makeup and how I keep it stored. So I hope that you guys find this video helpful and let's go ahead and get started. So starting with a quick overview on my desk or my vanity. It's really a desk, um, but I guess it's considered a vanity as well because I keep my makeup on it. But basically I use this for a desk and my makeup. So I do my homework here. As you can see, I have my laptop. And then over there I have my little tower, which a lot of people have, but I... I don't know, it's just the easiest way for me to store my makeup. So starting right here, I have my Orchid, which you can see. And right here I have my Chanel, what is this called again? It's the Soleil Tan de Chanel. It used to be called like, I don't even know what it used to be called, but or the Bronze Universal or something like that. So this is a whipped bronzer from Chanel, which I absolutely love. I just keep it out for me because I think it looks really classy sitting there. And then right here I have some pens and pencils. I'm really sorry that I can't tell you where this is from. This, I can't tell you where this is from either because it's kind of a local place, but I'm sorry. I have my phone right here. A lot of people ask me about the case. The case is from AT&T, and it's just little birdies, and I think it's very cute. And right here, I have my lip products, which I will get to in a second, and then I have my laptop, I have my makeup brushes, my roses, and then my Ott light, which is my really fancy makeup mirror. Coming back to the lip products. So my container for these lipsticks is from the container store and it's the 24 count one. And then also right here, this is from the container store as well. It's their three jord one. I don't know the exact name, but they're both from the container store. Okay, so for the colors, right here I have strawberry shortcake, lollipop, sweet tart, Sorry if the camera is shaky, I'm really trying hard because it's really heavy. Um, red Velvet, Berry Smoothie, and Candy Apple. Here I have Cotton Candy, Creme Brulee, Cream Sickle, my YSL Lipstick in number 26, my YSL Lip Stain in number 16. I have an Arbonne Lipstick back here. And then, whoops, trying to focus. I have my NARS Lipstick, which is like honestly one of my favorite lipsticks. This is in Dulce Vita. It's gorgeous. I absolutely love it. It will literally look good on every single person. Then here I have my MAC lipsticks. This one right here is, see if my finger will focus. This is a perfect day, blankety, myth, angel, and hue. So my Inglot lipsticks are there. I have an Arbonne lipstick and rose petal, and I have two uh, NYX lipsticks. One of them is in Strawberry Milk, and one of them is in Heather. And then I have this Revel and Lipstick back there, which is, I believe, Champagne on Ice. Then I have two Maybelline lipsticks, one in Pink Please, and one in Red Revival. Okay, so for this first drawer, I have two Lancome Juicy Tubes, which I absolutely love. I actually have a little baby one in Pure, which is just a clear lip gloss. And then I have my Tarte, or not my Tarte, my Sugar Lip Balms that I got for my birthday at Sephora. I have the Rose one, I believe, and then the regular. Then right here I have my little Urban Decay Naked Gloss. I have two La Glosses from L'Oreal, an Arbonne one, and then I have some Burt's Bees back there. Then I also have a few lip liners in the very, very back from NYX, L'Oreal, Arbonne. Then I also have an OCC Lip Tar or Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics. This one happens to be an interlace. So for this drawer on the side, I have all my Stila lip glazes. I don't have any full size ones. I just have the ones from the set. I have two L'Oreal Hip Jelly Bonds. This is in Delectable, and then the other one is in Plush. I have a couple MAC Tinder Tones as well. Sorry about the focus. I'm really trying here, guys. This one here is in Purring, and then this one is in Tread Gently. I have an EOS Lip Balm in the very, very back along with two Buxom lip glosses, which are by Bare Essentials. And then I have a Buxom, I guess, lipstick back there. And then I just have some chapsticks in the very, very back. Okay, so for the top drawer, I have, starting from the left, a Buxom lip gloss. And then I think it's called the Lap of Luxury. It was from one of their collections from like the Baroque, but 
Dwyer or something. I have no idea. I do not speak French. And then the two right next to it are Cream Sheen gla Lip Glasses by MAC, or Lip Glosses, rather. And the first one is in Do It Up, and the next one is in My Perfect Pink. I have this one in Big Baby. This one's She's a Star. This one is Put... Do what? Posh It Up. <laughs> this one is in Underaged. And then I have NYX Lip Gloss. I have a Too Faced Lip Gloss right there. That's a Glamour Gloss. I have my Inglot lip glosses, which are my sleek creams, right there. I absolutely love those lip glosses. I have another Inglot one right there, which is like a changing color one. It's really cool. I have a NARS one in Geyser. I have, what else? Um, I have my Bare Minerals ones right over here. And then I have a Chanel one on the side. I also have another EOS lip balm, some more Bare Minerals. I have a Dior lip gloss back there, a Smashbox one. I just have NYX one, a Neutrogena one, a bunch of little random miniature lip glosses back there. And then right here, moving right along, I have my makeup brushes. Now, these little containers I actually purchased from Michaels, and then I just bedazzled them a little bit. And then I keep them on this little mirrored thing, which is supposed to hold perfume but I put my makeup brush holders on them along with my makeup brushes. Now, a lot of my makeup brushes are from MAC and Crown Brush. This one's actually from Bare Essentials. This one's from MAC. This is MAC. Crown Brush. I just have a bunch of my face makeup brushes. I definitely need to get a bigger holder. Now, these are my eye brushes. These are pretty much MAC and Crown Brush as well. This one's Crown Brush. Urban Decay, MAC, MAC. Crown brush. That is my makeup brushes. And then I have some roses right here. Just because I really like flowers. I think they're really pretty and they make your room just feel really sort of fresh. So I like them. This is my Ot Light. Now this thing is really cool. It's, it's a makeup mirror that is supposed to reflect natural daylight and it gets really, really close. I mean, super, super close. So that's my little desk overview. And, oh, I forgot. Yes, I did bedazzle these myself. No, you can't buy it like that. I don't know. Maybe actually you can, but I did it myself. And then the keyboard cover I got from eBay for about $2. So it just, you don't have to stick them on individually. It just comes off. It's like silicone and caps lock is on because I know I'm going to get questions about it. Now, really quickly, right above where I store my makeup, I have my nail polishes. So I'm not going to be going into depth or anything, but if you'd like me to do a separate nail polish video, let me know in the comments below. Right here on the top of my makeup tower, I keep my Kabuki brush, which is from Costco. I have the MAC one. I really don't like it at all. In fact, it's the worst MAC brush I've ever had in my whole life. Um, it sheds like crazy. I really don't like that Kabuki. Maybe I just got a defective one. The container actually came from an Alme makeup wipe case. So if you buy that or you have it or something you can actually store your kabuki in here and I find it really nice for travel I just took off the wrapper and I just it works really well it keeps the dust out and I love it now this little thing I got right here to hold my palette I got it from TJ Maxx and I think it was like three dollars or four dollars and I have my Urban Decay Naked palette on here and that's the original this is the Naked 2 and then I have my MAC palette, which I will show you guys. Here are my colors that I have. I'm really not a huge MAC eyeshadow person. I have a few colors. So I have like brulee. I have all that glitters. I have satin taupe. I have, um, this one's called quarry. I just have a bunch of these. I have rice paper. I have soft brown. I have Honesty. I just have a bunch of different colors there. So now moving to the back, this palette holder I actually got from Goodwill for like a dollar a, a really long time ago. And I have my Urban Decay Ammo. No, this isn't the Ammo. This is like their original palette. So that is what it looks like. I've had that for so long. Megan Hart's makeup actually. This was like the first palette that I ever bought because of Megan Hart's makeup. So... I don't know. I think that's kind of funny. So thanks, Megan, for showing me that. She showed it in one of her videos, like, in 2009 or something like that. Okay, then I have my Love & Beauty palette from, from Forever 21. And then I have my Coastal Scents 88 Shimmer palettes. So those are my palettes there. And now we're going to move on to this. So I got this at Office Depot, I believe, or Office Max. Um, it was around $60. A lot of people do have this. I don't have any complaints about it. I mean, 
it might be a little bit shaky at some times, but it holds my makeup. This is my face drawer. And I have my Bossica BB Cream right here, which is my new favorite face product. It's so amazing. I have Bare Minerals Matte Foundation, my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish, more Bare Minerals, an Arbonne Pressed Powder. I have a Back to MAC Mineralized Skin Finish that I'm going to Back to MAC. And then I have, um, so here I keep my powders, here I keep my liquids, and then here I keep concealers and things like that. So I have an Arbonne Tinted Moisturizer, my Nature Girl, or Nature Girl, Cover Girl Nature Lux. Um, I have a little mini Bossica BB Cream. I seriously love this stuff. I have my Too Faced Amazing Face Foundation. I have, I like, a Cover Girl Aqua Smoothers. And then I just back here, I just have my sunscreens, and then I have a Chanel Vita Lumiere Aqua. I have my concealers, so I have my NARS concealers and Custard and Ginger. I have my Sheer Cover Concealer, my Max Select Moisture Cover, Makeup Forever HD, Kirkland One Primetime Foundation Primer, which is the best foundation primer I've ever used. This is the NARS Makeup Primer, which has SPF in it. So that's my face drawer. Then right here, I have my blushes. So I have NARS Laguna Bronzer, Elf Bronzer. I have NARS Orgasm. This is a Josie Moran or Moran blush stick in Rosy Glow or Petal Glow? Petal Pink, okay. Um, and then I have a NYX, I guess, like cheek stick. This is in Meringue Flush. I have my Benefit What's Up High Beam Posy Tint Benetint. Two Maybelline Dream Mousse blushes, one of them in Peach Satin, one of them in Soft Plum. My Arbonne Sheer Glow Highlighter. I have my Smashbox O Glow, and then here on the side I keep my blushes. This is MAC Well Dressed, MAC Mineralized Blush, MAC uh, Lady Blush. I have an NYX Blush in Natural, and then I have Smashbox. Here I have my Benefit Hula Bronzer in Coralista. I have a NYX Blush there. And then two Too Faced bronzers with my little petite poof thing right here. Here I have blushes. Um, my little sister actually gave me this one. It's a Maybelline Fit Me blush. I've never tried it. She just gave it to me. This is another Maybelline blush in Dusty Rose. I love that blush. It is so good. So that's my blush drawer. Now in here I keep mascaras and eyeliners and all that fun stuff. And so actually right here I have my Tarte. What is this? This is the Multiply Eye Lash Serum, which is really good. I need to do a review on that. My eyelash curlers. And in the back, I have lashes, duo lash adhesive, sharpeners. So in here, I have just random eyeliners. I don't even know. This one's from L'Oreal. I have Stila, NYX, Lancome. I have Urban Decay. I have Too Faced. I have my MAC Black Track Fluid Line, NARS, I have a NARS one, I have this one right here which is an Inglot one which is really cool because it like changes colors and then, I don't know, those are just my eyeliners. Now here I have my mascaras which is kind of obsessive. I know that this is an extreme amount of mascara to have, I know I'm like, I'm a mascara hoarder, I just cannot give... There's, I just cannot throw them away. It's really horrible. I mean, I've thrown some away before, but I don't know. I just, I know you're supposed to throw them out after three months. This is the one that I'm currently loving. This is the Almay one. It's a purple one. Um, I just have Telescopic. I have Clinique. I have Makeup Forever. Oh my gosh. I have MAC, NARS. Um, I have a Tarte one. I have Lancome. Um, oh my gosh. I have so many mascaras. It's a really horrible thing. I know... Don't judge me. Oh, by the way, these containers I got from the container store. So, pretty much everything I got from the container store, except for this little container. This actually came in a sewing kit, so I'm really sorry. I have no idea how to help you out with that one. But here I have Urban Decay Primer Potion. And I have NARS Pro Prime Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. I have the Too Faced one. With, there we go. Too Faced Shadow Insurance. I have a Too Faced one down there. Just those. Then I have a steel one. I have my NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencils, Black Bean, Baby Blue, Milk. Two Revlon Cream Illuminants Eyeshadows, which are great. I love those. And then right here I have my Naked Pigments, which are amazing. I love these. So they're right there. Then I have my e.l.f. Quads. I have my glitters right here. I got these, I think, I don't even know, like a Halloween store or something. 
Um, and then I have my pop glitters, which I actually got for Christmas from my friend Shelby. Then I have my NYX Roll-On Eye Glitter. Right here, I actually got these little containers from TJ Maxx. I have Bare Minerals MAC. I have one MAC single eyeshadow, which I have to back to MAC. I have a Stila one right here, which is in Kitten. I have Urban Decay, Urban Decay, Too Faced. These are amazing. Sephora ones. All right, so then I have my creams. This is Makeup Forever. It's their deep blue one. This is Stila's Kitten Smudge Pot. This is Max Morning Frost, Max Painterly, and then I have a Maybelline Eye Studio one in Toughest Taupe. This is a Lancome one. I keep an empty MAC one so I can take it for travel. Stila, Too Faced, NARS, CoverGirl. Um, I don't know. I just put them back here because they fit back there. I need to get a little bit more of a new makeup setup. Um, and then Physician's Formula. I have Stila, I have Maybelline, I have... More Stila Bare Minerals is at the bottom. Now my next drawer that I have is actually pretty just basic, I guess. This is a Sonia Kashuk palette, and then I have a Stila one. Back there, I just have, like, My Glam things. And then in this one, I have my My Glam bags that I receive all the time. Um, MAC bag, My Glam brush holder back there, mm, just my glam, and then in here I keep a few things, this is Vaseline Beauty Blender thing, another one of these Kabuki, my MAC Kabuki, which I don't know what I'm going to do with this, but I hate it, I might just throw it away, or I might call the MAC people up and complain to them, not complain, but tell them that their Kabuki is absolutely horrendous, and I don't like it at all. All right, now this is my nail drawer, and I keep a nail set in here, which is filled with a bunch of nail goodies. And then I have nail polish remover, my nail file from Sally Hansen, which is amazing. And then I have in my next drawer Queen Helene olive oil. I have Freeman Beauty peel off mask, cucumber, and then I have my hair, skin, and nail vitamins. And then I have retainer cases in the back. And then in this drawer, I have a bunch of hair clips, hair rollers, and then I have my just two everyday uh, heat tools. This one is my Sidhu straightener, and then I have my Pro Beauty tools. I think it's like one, I think it's like an inch curling iron. Um, I have more, but I keep them in the bathroom because it just will weigh this drawer down, so I just keep the two that I use the most often in there. So that's pretty much it, and then this desk, I actually... I've had this for ages and ages since I was like eight years old, so I have no idea where you can get this. I also thought I would let you guys know that I have no idea where this black mirror is from. If somebody knows, then feel free to help someone out in the comments. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Um, let me know if you guys want me to do my nail polish collection video. I wasn't trying to flaunt or brag about anything that I've showed in this video. It was just mainly to show you guys how I organize my makeup items. So, thank you so much for watching. If you would like, subscribe please, and I will see you very soon. Bye everyone.